I'm here with Bill Lingnell, technical consultant for IGMA and uh, soon to be columnist in uh, Glass Canada magazine. We're talking today about Bill's uh, presentation he put on today on glass performance. Uh, Bill, it was a packed house uh, by all accounts. Everybody must have been interested in what you had to say. Um, can you give us a, just a little recap of what you spoke to everyone about today? Well, we started out kind of just going over the basics of a lot of the things that go into the overall glass performance regarding uh, U factors and R values and solar heat gain coefficients and describe some of the general terminology we use like conductance, convection and radiation and went through some general terminology that, that we use to get to the numbers that we have to get to and then we described how we use low E coatings and what they mean and, and how valuable they are along with other things that go into insulating glass to, to make it more efficient and more energy conserving for the, the basic units that we make for commercial and residential uh, use and fenestration products. Great. Well, there seems to be a tremendous amount of new technology on the floor. Um, everybody seems to be shooting or injecting something else into their, uh, into their extrusions for, uh, for the outside frames of the, of the windows. Is, that, is, is, is the technology going faster at, at getting better at making more energy efficient windows all the time? Well, it is, and there's going to be some new things coming around in the next few years. Uh, but we're sort of really getting a good grasp of, of how to make well-insulated glass products by using uh, different coatings, multiple air spaces, our gaps to put different gases in, which I guess you'd call a gas space if you put a noble gas in like argon or krypton or one of those gases that uh, make the unit even more efficient because it's a heavy gas. and and it's a, a better uh, insulator than we have with just plain air. Mm -hmm. How important are the, um, some of the, I've seen, I've seen different composite materials that people are coming up with now to make, to, to, to make their framing materials. Um, it, are, are, are those things important in helping to? Uh... Well, they, they really are because the way a fenestration is looked at and rated in today's uh, methodologies to, to meet uh, building code requirements, our energy conservation methods and Energy Star programs is that it takes into account the whole system which includes the frame, the glass, and the perimeter around the glass and frame. So each of those components in themselves uh, are a part of the overall uh, members of the total equation that give us the numbers that we're looking for. 